All righty. Good morning, everyone. I'm Jan Erickson from Stepping Aside, and welcome to Somewhat Daily Tarot and Rune for the 25th day of October 2018. Well, this is a Thursday, Thor's Day. Maybe we'll draw Thurs as when we draw the rune today. The in synchronicity. Well, today is the crown phase of the moon. Last night was a beautiful full moon. And I woke up at uh, 4.30, actually 4.33, and I took a picture through the window of the crone phase, although it technically doesn't begin for a little while. Or maybe it's already begun. Yeah, it probably has already begun, but it hadn't moved yet, I don't think. So I'll do another one. But I like to take advantage of all three energies, maiden, mother, and crone, surrounding the full moon. Their energies of beginning and fulfillment and completion and, and letting go of what no longer serves. Today, I'm going to use a different deck. Usually, I use the Rider Waite. Well, today, I'm going to use the Morgan Greer. I've used it before a couple of times, I think. Uh, I like to use the, the traditional decks for um, this, this particular um, divination. I, uh, when I do the blog though, when I write on the blog, I use other things. I, use, I have a whole lot of, um, I uh, started an exploring tarot series, <laughs> which is essentially you know, readings with all the different tarot decks I have. I need to go back through and see what ones I have left to do. I've done quite a few of them. Um, usually whenever I get a new deck, I work with it for a while on the blog, but I miss doing that. So I, I haven't been lately as, uh, steadfast as I usually am with things like that. So, but then it's been harvest and trying to get the last bit of things in the cannabis is in now and almost done as I should say. So we have a lot that we have to do at the end of the season and uh and in a sense we've been ahead of ourselves here a little bit we've things progressed in a way that 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 harvest seemed to unfold more gradually than than everything all at once but i have to go out and plant my garlic today uh, we finished the carrots yesterday so i'm going to go replant that bed with garlic for next year and then when I pull it next in, in July of next year, I'll plant more carrots in that bed. But I'm going to do regular garlic, and then I have a, a bed I reserve for elephant garlic. I really love elephant garlic. It's just wonderful to use in, well, anything, really. I put it in everything. That and Thai pepper. <laughs> Even in my jellies and jams, I put Thai pepper. So I think we've shuffled enough. Oh, looks like the picture froze there for a second. Oh, well, let's count 13 and see what we have for today. Morgan Greer deck is, uh, oh, we got another four, four of pentacles. Well, we had four of wands yesterday. So now we have another four. The, what's cool about the, uh, and different about the, the Morgan Greer, um, well, this is the card from yesterday. This was the four. You see, it kind of has a, I don't know, a softer appearance to it. Well, then you look at this, and it's much more colorful. The Morgan Greer is just a more colorful deck. It has, I mean, it's it's just when you need to have color in your life, you know, and as we are leaving summer behind. It's be, it's nice to have a little color during the winter. So little bright, bright cards instead of the more satin looking ones. Although I, I do love the, the I do love the Rider weight. I, I, I don't know why I, I don't use it more, but I, I guess that's why I decided to use it here. Um, but here we have a man who's sitting there against a, a, a rock wall. He's hanging on to his uh, wealth, to his legacy, to his foundation. 
Pentacles is about the earth element, the earth presence in our lives. So foundation, wealth, legacy, money, what we pass on to others, currency. Those are just the general ones. But here, you know, you can say may it possibly, you know, I, I look at, I don't look at uh, forward and reversed. So to me, I'm looking at all of the energies surrounding this particular idea or concept. So, so both the negative and the positive, you know, would, would be part of this. So maybe he's a little miserly. Maybe he's planning for the future. He's putting out there, here's what I have. Uh, for all to see because he's got, you know, four large pen pentacles that are that are one above his head, in fact. Uh, so you could say that that's, you know, he's got this on his mind. He's thinking about things. Four is about rest and uh, uh, respite and, and contemplation. It's about planning the structure and foundation. And today being an eight day, uh, as always, I'm not using the year, I'm just using the month and the day to determine the numerology for today, but um, October 25th would be an eight day, and, and, and that's a, just a, a multiple of four. And so maybe for today, we have some practical matters weighing heavily on our minds. Uh, our foundation maybe is, is maybe at issue, or, or we're just contemplating where to go next or or just taking stock of of what we have um but let's see what the rune has to say you know he's wearing a crown so he's clearly a person in authority it's not a particularly ornate ornate crown but you know he's he's uh he's likely the king or a tribal ruler of some kind and so you're looking at somebody that feels the weight of the world um, and is trying to figure out, you know, how best do we proceed in balance and, and preserving the structure and all that we've built. Um, it's like in our country, you know, we are experiencing a lot of chaos, a lot of strange things that are going on that, that is threatening the structure and foundation uh, some might say, well, you know, it's always good to clean house now and then, and that's true. Uh, but you want to make sure you understand what's at stake. You want to make sure you understand what is best for the common good and begin from there. And if we're destroying the structure, then make sure that what is left is something that can actually sustain everyone in a positive and healthy, healthy way. Well, <laughs> and so we have Gebo, which is balanced energy exchange. So, you know, that's, that's basically what I think that, uh, you know, Gebo is the seventh rune of the, of the elder Futhark and, you know, you're looking at the scales, you know, seven is balance, it's magic, it's, it's balancing spirit with ego uh, or the shadow side of self, dark and light. Um, it's about going forward integrated with everyone um, in a balanced way, uh, in a way that is not preferring one group over another necessarily, unless it makes sense to do that. Everyone agrees. Well, yeah, you know, you know, it's like taking care of, of people that are making sure that, that people have, uh, that have pre-existing conditions have health insurance, okay, that doesn't destroy their, their ability to even pay their rent or their mortgage or whatever, right? You want to have, uh, have insurance that doesn't cost so much that you can't afford it. And you also don't want insurance that doesn't actually pay for anything that you actually need it to pay for. And so having that agreement in society that, yeah, we're going to do this in a way, we're going to make insurance affordable for people, uh, particularly those that actually need it, that are experiencing things or or likely will experience something here uh, in the future. So you have a uh, uh, you have a mindset that's collective in nature that wants to care for people, you know, and make sure that everyone has the best chance of surviving. 
you know, in a way that then contributes to the rest of society as a whole. It's a give and take. It's not about worrying that we're going to give, 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 and everyone's going to take, 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 and no one's going to give back because that's not how that works. It's just not, it's really just not who most people are. You might have a few that outliers that, that maybe don't understand this, but I have to think that over time, they're going to figure it out. It's about reciprocity. It's about reciprocity that is respectful and, and, and understands that we have a basic foundation from which everything else springs. And maybe some of that gets a little off track. So sure, rein it back in, but, but let's not throw the baby out with the bathwater. And that's really what we need to be contemplating here is are we doing that by allowing for all of this chaos and dis, and dis, uh, uh, deception daily to rule the, the, the narrative, to control the narrative. So instead, we need to be in balance and in balanced energy exchange with everyone so that it preserves our foundation for, you know, as our legacy for our children and our grandchildren and our great-grandchildren. So what are we going to leave behind on this day of practical matters? and harmony so well i think that that's 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 probably going to be it for today i think that i will be back on monday i may do one tomorrow but i might do something else tomorrow i'm not sure it depends on on i'm going to do a blog post today and uh that should be up sometime well it might be up sometime this afternoon but it might be up this evening depends on when I do the garlic. So anyway, um, but go over there and check that out at, at imsteppingaside.com. Um, probably this evening it'll be up. Uh, there's some other things on there. I do post these there every day uh, that I do them over in the left-hand column. Um, you know, and uh, if you haven't been here before, uh, welcome. I hope you come back. Uh, and if you've been here before, welcome back. Um, Let's see, I'm still in full moon fog. So <laughs> I didn't sleep very much last night. So hard to uh, get my uh, act together today. Uh, it's always this way on the, uh, after the full moon. The next day is just kind of like, <laughs> and so I try to do some kind of ritual on the crone day, but uh, we'll talk about that maybe on Monday. So anyhow, uh, have a great weekend, everyone, and thanks so much for stopping by. I really appreciate it. Click subscribe if you like. I'd love you to. I'd love you to come back. And uh, if I don't see you tomorrow, I'll see you on Monday. Be kind to yourself, be kind to others, and blessed be.